Hello everyone. In this video, this video is regarding uh, image processing and uh, there's a lot many times that we get images like this which are dull in nature and uh, we would like to sharpen these images so that the features uh, come out quite well. Uh, this dullness could be due to many reasons, um, you know, either the 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 light contrast in which you are taking the photo or the lens of your uh, camera itself okay so what we are going to see is two techniques today the linear stretching and the non-linear stretching linear stretching is a simple input output formula when you where you apply a linear uh, function to each of these pixels so the pixel values are between 0 to 255 and I have taken a grayscale image for simplicity but if you have three channels the colored image uh, you just have to uh, repeat your uh, program three times for each channel. The non-linear contrast stretching is the histogram equalizer which we will talk about. So first we will talk about the linear contrast uh, stretching. I have taken this very uh, common picture of a girl and uh, as you can see this uh, photo is quite dull in nature. Now if you you need to use this no norm to uh, get the dull dull effect okay if uh, by default matplotlib normalizes the photo so if you don't use this normal if you don't use you know do not normalize matplotlib will normalize and would give you automatically the sharpen image so this is done internally by the plt.im show function. So to get that effect, you need to use that uh, you don't want a normalization, which is to this attribute norm equal to no norm. And no norm is in matplotlib.colors. You need to import from here. So if we look at the photo shape, it is uh, 255, 225 by 225. And if you flatten out this image and you take a histogram of this image, you would find that the range is starting somewhere near uh, 40 and going up to 140. So the, this is a grayscale image which is going from uh, around 40 to about 141. And most of the pixels, they are between this range 100 and 120. So Now when we want to stretch the contrast means that we would like to, uh, I have multiplied it by 255 because by default when you uh, use the as gray equal to true, the IM read uh, automatically normalizes the pixels between 0, uh, zero and 1. You can check it, you can check it out. Okay, this is the normalized values. So, if you multiply it by, so basically uh, it is just dividing it by 255. So, I have multiplied it by 255 to give you the exact range where the pixels, you know, what is the uh, pixel value, intensity value. And we would see that this is uh, just between this particular range. If you want to get the exact range, then you can get the min value and the max value. So this is about 52 and the max value this is about 141. So from 52 to 141. Now in the linear stretching what we want to do is we want to stretch out this pixel intensity from 0 to 255 and there is a formula to do that. So these operations are also called as a point operations. So we will use the formula and we would apply the linear stretching. The formula for this uh, linear stretching is uh, you can read like this that the new pixel value is equal to the original pixel value minus 
the minimum pixel value in that image and you can consider this part to be as a ratio and what is this ratio this ratio is i max which in the case of an image is generally 255 minus i min okay which is 0 and d and c is the lower and the upper limit okay this is the upper limit of your photo this is the lower limit of your photo in our case 52 and 141 so c is 52 in our case and d is 141 and a is the minimum which is again 0 in case you want to change your max to 55 2 and 0 and you want to give your range the, the linear stretching range something lesser or something bigger then you can change it so let's apply this formula and let's see how our image will look like so what we will have is uh, we'll have one row and two images and the first image will have the same image and the second image will apply this formula and look at the second image so let us do that so uh, let us have in the first one the contrast and in the second image it will be your each pixel minus the minimum multiplied by this ratio and this ratio is what we have to calculate so this ratio is this part b minus a upon d minus c i'm doing it manually here but it can be very easily uh, you know you can very easily replace the variables so it will be 255 minus 0 so basically 255 divided by the max minus min 141 minus 52 Okay, and the whole thing plus 0 and let's print this ratio so this is about 2.86 okay so this part of the formula where you have the original pixel minus the minimum of your uh, minimum value in this which is 52 okay multiplied by the ratio and you would see that the brightness of this image is increased quite drastically okay it's quite much better than the this image so this is a very simple uh, image where we have linearly stretched the image now instead of linear stretch you can do a non-linear contrast stretching which is called as a histogram equalization which means that the histogram here you would have in the target image you would have from 0 to 255 and in each of this uh, range you would try and equalize your pixels so it would not be exactly equal it would be in the normalized fashion but like you know the missing the missing areas here and here these missing areas will be filled out so when there is a very nice in in the open cv this function is already built in if you want to build your own function that is also possible it would uh, just need about uh, 20 to 25 lines of code but since we have the open cv code with us we can use this code okay. so in the open cv the image is read as uh, the bgr channel the blue channel first then the green channel and then the red channel so let us use the open cv and uh, because we are using the open cv i will use the cv2 dot im read again since the channels have changed now in normal uh, plt the channels so we open the image in 
CV2 because the channels have changed here. So they are uh, instead of the RGB, it is the BGR. So let's see what our image name is contrast.jpg. And while opening itself, we will give it the black and white to be opened as black and white. <coughs> This is the uh, <coughs> let's do the equalization of which, which is uh, CV2 dot equalize histogram. So let's use this function. <coughs> and this function will return to us a destination image. Okay. The, it will equalize the image and return to us a destination image. Let us name it set contrast eq. And let me show you this image. This is the image where the histogram is equalized. Okay, so it is trying to distribute from zero uh, from forty. Uh, so this fifty two to one forty pixels. It is trying to distribute these pixels from zero to two fifty five in a equalized manner. Okay, and this is how you're getting the. Uh, equalized normalized manner not all uh, not all uh, pixels will be of the same frequency based on your image the frequency of the pixels would be you know normalized in that particular bin so this is the linear and the non-linear contrast uh, stretching let us see one more example uh, one more image and uh, this time I will try and uh, take all the code together. <coughs> this is another image where uh, the this is the contrast is you know not quite good. Let us do the linear as well as the open CV equalize histogram. Let me do this first. This is uh, quite simple. So let me read it in uh, CV2 and let me do the let me call this function equalize histogram. Just look at how beautifully this uh, particular image has come out in the equalized histogram. Okay, let's try and do the linear stretching of it and let's see the effect. So, uh, not one size fits all kind of uh, thing happens in images also. So, this contrast, not necessarily linear contrast, will work for all 
or histogram would work for all for images which are already in the range from 0 to 255 uh, when you try to do a equalized histogram sometimes they may get uh, distorted in fact rather than being uh, uh, you know uh, getting a very nice image it, it may get distorted so it so it depends on uh, you know what what is the what kind of image you have your operation will depend on that so let me read this image So the, this should be the maximum, this should be the minimum okay. and uh, just let me sort out my variables, yep, looks all good. <coughs> This ratio is too huge. Uh, okay, I've made some mistake. Okay, this the mistake is here. <clears throat> okay, there is something wrong with my ratio. So let's figure out what that is. Okay, so okay, this is in this is already a normalized image. So let us convert this to uh, 255. Let me multiply this by 255. Let's check the ratio first. Okay, 2.05. This looks reasonable. <clears throat> and this is the linear stretch image it's still quite good not as remarkable as the equalized histogram one this is kind of a perfect here but it's still uh, you know quite quite good at least from the original image so this is how you can do linear and non-linear contrast stretching uh, at least from the linear contrast stretching you can go back to your uh, original photograph from a non-linear contrast stretching you cannot go back to your original photograph okay because uh, the things that you are applying here uh, you, you cannot it's not like a straightforward linear function which you can you know just uh, revert back okay so that is the difference between linear and the non-linear contrast stretching i hope it helps there was a lot of uh, disturbance at my end today so there was a lot of pause in the video in between Okay, good day.